Hey y'all, Nico here. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, thanks for joining me, I'm Nico. Today's video is yoga for package handlers, warehouse workers, pretty much anyone who has to do a lot of bending down and standing up and lifting boxes and things of that nature. We're going to do poses that help to stretch our back and our hips because these tend to be the areas that are involved when you're doing lifting and some of you are sitting or standing for a long time as well. Uh, so I would recommend doing this every day if you can. Even better if you do it before and after work, but just do the best you can. Even once a week is acceptable. Hopefully you'll start to feel some differences in your body and want to incorporate it more. So go ahead and grab a pillow for this practice. We're going to use a pillow to help us modify during the practice. So you can pause the video and grab a pillow if you don't have one nearby. Um, so take your pillow and we're going to sit on our pillow to start because uh, some of you may be tight in your hips. My pillow is kind of flat, but it's just for visual purposes. But <laughs> um, go ahead and sit on your pillow to start. Hopefully you have a fluffier pillow than me. And we're just going to take a couple breaths here. So you can close your eyes or lower your gaze to the floor. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Take a second deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Take one more deep inhale through the nose. And exhale out the mouth. And come back to your natural breath. You can open your eyes. We're going to make our way to hands and knees. Coming to a child's pose. So bring your big toes together. Let your knees separate wide. And take the pillow. Bring it behind you. Rest it on top of your feet, on top of your ankles. We'll sit back and extend the arms forward, melting our chest down. If this is still too intense for you to be able to sit all the way back on your heels, keep your hips lifted. That's just fine. And by any means, if you don't need the pillow, you can remove it as well. It just depends on what your hip flexibility is. So extend your arms forward. Let your forehead come down to the ground. You can just let your arms rest on the ground as well. Uh, take an inhale here in your child's pose. Exhale, bring the right arm underneath the left arm, threading it underneath with the right palm facing upward. Let your right ear and right shoulder come down towards the mat. You want to get into the upper body and the shoulders too. Inhale, exhale, extend your right arm back forward. Let's do the same thing. Threading the left arm underneath the right, palm facing upward, left ear, left shoulder, come down to the ground. Uh, inhale, exhale, extend that left arm back forward. Let's fold our body up to hands and knees again. Go ahead and tuck your toes underneath behind you, and we're going to sit back towards our heels. Now, some people might have difficulty sitting all the way back, so just keep your hands in front of you, and you can kind of rock back and forth. That way we can get a wrist stretch too. But if you feel comfortable, you can sit all the way back onto the heels. Feel free to kind of pull your pinky toes out. You can also use that pillow as well, bringing it underneath the hips. That may help too. 
either one of those any one of those options works I like this stretch too for my feet and my ankles and my toes I think sometimes we forget to stretch our feet and our toes Take an inhale, exhale, come back down on those hands. Let's rock back and forth over the wrists a little bit longer. You can also kind of shake your toes out here. Uh, let's move around in a circle to the right. And to the left. Uh, from here, make your way to a seat, a comfortable seat again. You can sit on your pillow again. Let's sweep both arms up. Inhale. Reach both arms up. Interlace the fingers. Press your palms towards your ceiling. Reaching up, breathing up. Exhale, release the hands. Twist to the right side. We'll bring the left hand outside of the right knee. We'll let the right fingertips rest on the ground behind us, looking over to the right or all the way over the right shoulder. If you want to deepen your stretch, look all the way over that right shoulder. This is great for the lower back, the upper back. Take an inhale, sweep the arms up, interlace the fingers, press the palms away again. Exhale, twist to the left side. Right hand comes outside of the left knee this time. Left fingertips rest on the mat behind you, looking over to the left or towards the back of the room. Take an inhale, come back to center. Interlace the fingers, press the palms away again. Exhale, bring the arms out wide and then extend them in front of you. Cross right arm over left, tucking the right elbow inside of the left elbow and then bend at your elbows. Your palms can face away from each other or maybe you can kind of bring the hands around to face each other. And then we'll lift the forearms up and away, getting more of an upper back and shoulder stretch here. Uh, inhale, exhale, release, bring those arms in front again. Let's tuck left elbow inside of right elbow, back of the hands face each other, or maybe you can bring the palms around to face each other. Let's lift those forearms up and away. Inhale, exhale, release the arms. Let's take the feet and bring them flat on the ground, straight in front of us. I'm gonna face it this way. Separate them about the width of your mat or just have a couple of feet in between your feet. And we're going to take the hands, bring them down inside of the feet. And you could stay upright or you can just start to walk them further forward till you feel a stretch in the hips and in the lower back.
inhale exhale walk yourself back to an upright position again bottoms of the feet come together go ahead and grab the ankles or you can cup the feet with the thumbs inside of the arches of the feet let's take an inhale make sure you're sitting nice and tall straight back exhale start to hinge forward leaving your back flat so not rounding your spine quite yet we'll start with this more lower back focused seated bound angle and you should really feel it in the hips as well and if you like you can start to round the spine and come down a bit lower Inhale, exhale, come back up to a seated position. Extend your legs forward in front of you. Take an inhale, sweep the arms up. Go ahead and bend the knees, grab the outside of the feet. Exhale, scoot your hips back until you feel a stretch in the back of the legs and in the lower back. And you could go ahead and round down for this one, for this seated forward bend. Inhale in your seated forward bend. Exhale, roll back up to a seated position again. We're gonna move our pillow out the way and make our way down to our back, but keep it close by. Take your knees, hug them into your chest, rocking side to side to start. Good. Release the knees, bring the elbows out wide on either side of you, so making a cactus shape with your body. And go ahead and let both knees fall over to the right side. And if you need to, if that shoulder is lifting up, you can put a pillow underneath the left shoulder. Or if your knees don't quite make it to the ground, you can put a pillow underneath the knees or both. Let's take an inhale, exhale, come back to center, and then let both knees fall over to the left. Same thing, grab a pillow if you need to, bringing it underneath the shoulder or the knees. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Hug the knees back into the chest one last time. We'll release the knees, bringing the feet flat on the ground. Let your feet rest on the edges of your mat. Let your knees rest against one another. Place your hands on the belly. We'll end with a couple more breaths. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Second deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. One more deep inhale. And exhale. And come back to your natural breath again.
If you'd like to stay here longer, you can turn this video off now. Otherwise, we'll wiggle our fingers and toes and begin to roll over onto our favorite side. Just taking a moment here to reflect on your practice and using this moment to extend gratitude towards yourself for this act of self-care and self-love. When you're ready, let's come up to a comfortable seat once again. And together, we'll sweep the arms up overhead. Inhale, let the hands meet. Exhale, bring the hands down to heart center. Namaste. Okay, guys, thank you for joining me for this practice. Of course, leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought about this video, if it helped you out. Check the links in my description box about joining my channel as a member. There's also a link to Black Yogi Nico Marie merch and a link to my DJ channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. Peace and love.